people. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game is missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BC, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers now. Matt Pachanga Arena here in San Diego. You know, get here a little early for Chalatita versus Martinez. You know, people are just starting to pull up now. I got like an hour till I pick up my press pass, so I'm just gonna try to kill some time and, and ask people who are at the fight who are coming. What their opinions on the fight are, you know, I want to get the, I want to get the, uh, I want you guys to feel like you're here with me. So, I want to get the opinions of the Chalatito fans. I want to get the opinions of the of the Martinez fans and the and the whole nine yards. So that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm doing a, I'm doing a vlog. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to ask people what they think about the fight. So I wanted, to, I, want, I want to get you guys to the fight with the Martinez Chalatito. What's your name? My name's Alvaro Martinez. Alvaro Brendan. Nice to meet you, man. What, what do you think about the fight? Well, I think Chocolatito's a little older now, you know, he's not yeah. the same, uh, he's not the same speed no more. I think Martinez has a huge chance, but if he gets caught, he's gonna be dropped. Yeah. That's what I honestly think, but I'm going for Martinez because I'm Mexican. I see that, nah, that's why, that's why I asked, because like yeah. ye yesterday I was, I was at the hotel, and everybody I ran into is Nicaraguan, so I'm trying to talk to the Mexicans, man. Ah, uh, Mexicans, man, bro. Yeah. Hands down. He, he's young, you know, he came in a little heavier. Yes, a little bit. I mean, maybe the experience from uh, Chocolatito might take it, but yeah. I, I grew up watching Chocolatito, you know? My brother's always watched boxing, so I grew up watching Chocolatito. Hey, fine. Yeah, I'm uh, Mexican. I'm Mexican, so I gotta go with, with my Mexican. I feel you, I feel you. You know, uh, Chocolatito's like 21 and 1 on paper against Mexicans. Yeah. Some people would say he's never lost, you know, depending on how you see the guy I rematch. Some people, some people would say he's never lost to Mexican. I think he won the second one. I got, I got the standing you got, but I got with Chalatito. I got, I think he gets Martinez out of there by the eighth or ninth round. I got, I got, yeah. I got. I, got so it's not a I think if Martinez. Martinez beats him, it's gonna be like early, like three, four rounds, like the youth and the, and the, and the, and the um, okay, yeah. strength gets to him early, maybe. and maybe, maybe, maybe he can't take the punches anymore, and and and, and he used that to the advantage. Right? Or, or it could be that you know he has too much on his mind about the weight. Yeah. Yeah, like, like 12K forward. Yeah, shout out to him. A boxing TikToker? Yeah, he goes like boxing soccer. What's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? What's up, Brendan? What's up, man? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm asking you about the, the, the prediction for the fight. You know, Martinez, Chalatito, it's, it's, a, it's an intriguing fight. What, what do you think, man? Man, it, it's going to be an exciting fight. You know, Martinez is a little bit older. Yeah. He's a little bit older. He's been around the game a little bit. He's been around the game a Chocolatito has experience, yeah. you know, and um, but uh, it could go either way, you know. Either way, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna watch a, a good fight, an exciting fight today. So, tune in, man. Tune in. Okay, all right. Tune in tonight. You say you're a TikToker? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm on, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on YouTube. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. YouTube channel. The True School Sports. Yeah, I got, I got. Yeah, it'll be on there. Yeah, man. We here at the uh, Chalatito Martinez fight. You know, people just people just filing in, killing some time right now, um, talking talking to the people. You know, as we do at these fights, you know. That's me, yeah. That's me. All right, Alvaro. Nice meeting you, man. Nice like meeting. God bro. bless you guys. All right. So yeah, um, you know, right now, can't really. There's not like a ton, a ton of people here, but I see Mexican flags, I see Nicaraguan flags, I see flags from from every country. Um, and the mother right now, so <clears throat> should be a good fight. Um, <clears throat> I know we're early on in the car. We're gonna have like Diego Pacheco and people like that. All right, so yeah, right, right now I'm actually in the front of the arena, the, the in front of the Pachenga, Pachenga Pachanga. You see it? You see it? 
San Diego, state to state, coast to coast. The True School Sports Nationwide Tour continues. You know, the untouchable True School Sports Empire, San Diego. You know. So I'm gonna go, we're gonna ask some more people uh, their thoughts on the fight. So let's see. Hey, I like your shirt, man. I like your shirt. I'm doing a, I'm doing a vlog. Um, I'm, I'm asking people about the, 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 the fight. About what? The, the fight. The oh, yeah. Fight. Yeah, what, what do you guys know? What's your name? My name is Bobby. Bobby and... Same. Same. Bobby. Oh, Bobby and Bobby. Yeah, yes. my dad. This is my wife, Monica. Monica, nice to meet you guys. So, you got the Tell shirts on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, I'm going to ask you, like, uh, what, what, how do you think of it? Well, I, it's going to be a throwdown, and obviously I got Choco Latito, the legend, who beat Estrada but didn't get a decision. I love Estrada. Yeah. He's my man, but he got robbed blind. Yeah. So Choco Latito's at the top of his game, like Manny Pacquiao. I think it's a war, and he wins late eighth or ninth round knockout. Yep. I got it on the same. I got it. Yeah. yeah. Martinez, gets Martinez practice. comes low with, with angle shots. He's low. Get that's a that's a mark of death with Choco Latito. I mean, is it possible for the young guy to win? Sure. Absolutely, yeah, he's yeah. a bad boy. And in this weight division, absolutely. But I just got it. There's no way that Chocolate He's coming up in weight. He's not doing the same thing right. as Chocolate when he went up in weight. Yeah, yeah. He got knocked Plus, out he missed weight. So, I, you know, he's taking it out. His head's always there to be hit. Yeah. So, I think like early on, our team might be really strong. Sure. And Chocolate can withstand the early. His strength is those lower angle shots. You don't do that with him. Yeah. I'm just going off of his last performance, too. And, you know, his comeback has been tremendous. After having that little two fight skid, yeah, yeah. He's, he's as good as he's ever been. I don't know how you go against him. I mean, he threw a thousand to it because his last fight. Okay, okay. I didn't know he threw that many, but yeah, they broke the record. It was the most uh, yeah, punches thrown in a. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Martinez, I think the last time he went 12 rounds, you know, he threw like 600, 700 punches. So the output, you know, he's younger. Sure. He's not bad. Okay. 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 With okay. Josh okay. Wayne. See, this guy's a sport. Yeah, okay, yeah. so. Now, I, I, I cut box on YouTube, man. So oh, I, do you? Yeah, nice, yeah, yeah. man. What's your name? Uh, Brendan. Brendan? Yeah. Good to meet you. Today. We need more guys yeah, like you. We're absolutely. all cool watching, okay? And we need guys to yeah. keep the sport alive. Brother. I'm all the way from Miami, so. Oh, are you all the way from? Oh, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. What do you must like our Warriors? Uh, I like it. I like it. They're Warriors tonight, so we'll see. Nice to meet you guys. Okay, nice you too, brother. Good luck, brother. God bless. So, yeah, man. A lot of people are really excited about what's going on with the fight. And, um, you know? I honestly, look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I've been to a lot of Talatito fights. I've been to uh, the Quadras fight. I've been to the Calia 5 fight. I've been to Gaio Estrada 2. I've been to all these uh, types of fights. And um, I would say almost all of them, with the exception of the Calia 5 fight, were special atmosphere-wise because of um, the, the fans that came, the Mexico versus Nicaraguans and whatnot. Calia 5 was a good fight, but... You know, when Charlo Tito fights like one of these Mexicans like uh, Cuadras or Estrada, it's just a bit different because you got the Mexican fans on the West Coast that, that, that obviously support their fighters very, very well. But then what, what, what most people don't understand is that Roman Gonzalez, Charlo Tito, he probably has one of the best fan bases in boxing. I mean, he's probably the only fighter I know in boxing that could fight on the West Coast and have as much of the crowd, or if not more sometimes, than the Mexican fighters. And you don't really see that in boxing, so, you know. It is what it is. I'm gonna talk to some more people. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm doing a vlog. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get people's opinions on the fight. So I wanted, to, I wanted to ask you guys, what, what do you guys think about Martinez versus Chocolatito? Well, I think uh, Chocolatito. Yeah. Chocolatito. Yeah, I think uh, Martinez. Martinez. Yeah. Why? Why Martinez? Ah. Uh, yeah. So you think the the power the power of, of him is, is gonna overwhelm the older yeah, Chalatito? Yeah, Chocolatito is kind of. Yeah. I think the first couple of rounds will be kind of dangerous for Chalatito. He, if he's not careful, yeah. it could be a short night, you know. Yeah, What's your name? Francisco. Brendan. Nice meeting you, man. Okay. Urban. Urban. Nice meeting you, Urban. And... Huh? Joseph. Joseph. Nice meeting you, Joseph. Should be should be fun. These, uh, these Chalatito like uh, fights against the Mexicans on the West Coast are always fun to be at because yeah. this is my third one. Really? Like I went to Cuadras, I went to uh, Guy I was trying to two last year. Uh, was, and you saw that one in uh, the zone? Yeah. Was, the zone, it was on the zone, yeah, yeah. yeah, was, yeah I, I was there. One the, over two thousand punches thrown, you know? Yeah. These guys are like yeah. they energize the money, they just they don't yeah. stop over and over again. Fight. I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chocolatito. That's why I want Chocolatito. Yeah, 
I, I feel like Chalatito, you know, a lot of. Uh, I think it's a do or die for him. Yeah, every, every fight is do or die at this point because yeah. he's 34 years old. You know, if you lose again, you, you don't have time to rebuild. You know. Exactly. So, I feel like I feel like, uh, but the way boxing has gone this year, like you know that that kid uh, Bam Rodriguez who just beat Quadras recently. Yeah, I feel, I feel like with the way with the way the weight class is going, they're trying to bring up the young guys and get rid of the old guys. Bam Rodriguez, he, he looked pretty good. Yeah. Big, he's big. I, I saw him yesterday. Like the youngest fighter, the youngest champion right now. Yeah. In boxing, yeah, he is technically, but technically he's not really a world champion because he has the um, uh, what you call? Because you know, Gaia was the franchise champion, so it's like it's kind of complicated. Yeah. But uh, yeah, technically, yeah. You know. I think so. I think they're gonna try making the next star in the division. You know? yeah. Really good, yeah. strong guy. The best weight class. Yep. It's the best weight class because you know there's not as much money yeah. uh, for the fighters, so like yeah. they have to make the fights happen. And they're the best fighters. They are. People, people getting real excited. That's gonna be a fun occasion. What's good, man? I'm doing a vlog right now. What, what's your name? It's Walter. Walter, nice to meet you, Walter. Nice to meet you. Christine. Christine, nice to meet you, Christine. Nice to meet you. So, um, here with Walter, Christine. I see you guys have the Nicaragua the Nicaragua shirts on. Uh -huh. So I know who you're going for. Uh, Chocolatito. Chocolatito. Yeah. So how do you, how do you think he wins it? I think I probably by round six, it, uh, uh, Martinez will be. Knockout. Yeah. The problem is that I mean he's supposed to take this seriously. Look, Jesse Martinez. Yeah. Jesse Martinez in one week he he you know uh, over the weight. Yeah, no, I mean I mean uh, Jesse Martinez uh no I mean not knockout but by the unanimous decision with uh Quadras. Oh, yeah. yes. Rodriguez, Rodriguez. No, Jesse Rodriguez. Jesse Rodriguez, sorry, yeah, yeah from yeah. Texas. Yeah, so so you know in one week they notified in one week that he won. So why this guy when he's coming from down to up to 115 exactly. pounds he didn't? I don't know, man. You know it's what I mean? Like a, it's good. Yeah. One twelve, I know he's good, but I know what's going on with him in this moment. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you know he's overweight, like 123, 122. That he's made today. You know it's different to try to handle that weight. So exactly. I, I think that will be difficult for that's him. That's gonna probably day. be the downfall for him. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like a, you know that kind of a loose heading. Luis Neri for a one, a one, uh, one, one eighteen. The Mexican, uh -huh. like he, he misses weight a lot too. So it, it kind of reminds me of Luis Neri. Yeah, sort of, sort of. Yeah. Well, not only that, look at uh, Chocolatito's record as opposed to Martinez. There's no comparison. No, there is. I mean, there's so, opportunity, and this was the opportunity that Martinez. He, he took. He, he, he didn't take it seriously. I feel so sorry for him, to be honest. But this was the opportunity to make history in his career. I, he didn't, you know. So look, Jesse Martinez. I, I mean, I that guy. Yeah, he make he make history, and now he can be able to fight with Chocolatito with Guy Estrada. Which of those? Because he has the talent, he has the skill, and I know that he can he, he, he can go move forward with that. He, he looks like a potential star. Yeah, man. You see the technique that he has. Yeah, the way yeah. he was moving with the angles, man. That was very nice. Maybe if Chalatito wins tonight, maybe that, that could be the next fight. That will be very nice, that you know. That will be very nice. Yeah. I, I, I talked to him yesterday. He was at the hotel yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I interviewed him yesterday. With who? Uh, bam. Rodriguez. Ah, uh, yeah. I interviewed him. So, it's coming here? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, he, that, he said he really wants that fight. That's like his dream fight, you know? It could be like a passing of the torch fight. So. Yeah, this is the opportunity that the, that the, for example, like 115, 112 weight, also 108, yeah. has the opportunity to make history because at this moment, the Peso Gallo, like for example, yeah. Canelo on the other, no, sorry, the Peso Gallo, like, no, no, like Canelo up, uh, I mean, I know that probably they are making good money in this moment, but I mean, I think the, the, the good fight are in this moment with uh, 115, 112, and 108. Best weight class, 115. In my, in my opinion, I think it's the big class. Yeah. While, while, while we're sitting here waiting for like Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence and all these guys to make the fights happen, they've already fought two, three times. Exactly. They're having trilogies. Exactly. And something like, for example, like Chocolatito, he said, this is the opportunity that, for example, that, that the low 
uh, wake like 112, 115, 108. This is the opportunity because after this, after this, if you see the those wake, they are not earning a lot of money like no, no. Like, the, like one, you know, the other wake. But for example, this is the moment. This is the moment that, for example, they take an advantage and make a good fight. Like for example, guy Australian Chocolatito before they did it good, yeah. but unfortunately, you see, you see when we were there in. in in, in Texas, so are you there too? Yeah, yeah. I was there. Yeah. Yeah. I was there. Yeah. What do you think about that? What's going on there? What in uh, your personal uh, uh, opinion? Uh, uh, listen, Let honestly, when I, was, honestly. when I was in the stands and they announced, I was I recorded myself while they were announcing the decision. And when I heard 117 111, I said, Oh no, they're gonna rob them because I have this theory. Like, I have this theory that the the both are good. They're both good. Both great fighters. Yeah. But I have this theory that the promoters in boxing they want they want to they want to make a. Julio Cesar Martinez versus Gallo. Oh. I, think that, I think that's the fight they're trying to set up. I actually think if, if Martinez wins tonight, I actually think that, that, that's the fight they're going to try to make, is Martinez versus Gallo. But so I it thought, could already be set up? It could be. I, I, could wanted be. To, I, I thought Chantito won. No, I thought, but what do you think about that fight? You think I that Gallo won? won? No, no, no. I thought uh, oh, Chantito won. won. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was too. one of his best performances because he, it was a defensive Masterful. Now, with His defense, that, the catching the punches, the parrying. Exactly. The, so, with that performance, do you really think that it's gonna that Martinez is gonna win? I don't. I don't. But of course, Martinez is gonna win the first round or two because yeah. they do a study. Yeah, that's a good point. They they, yeah. they study the other opponent. Yeah, yeah. So their techniques. And, and then after that, a slow starter. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But but um. With like with like um, Martinez, like Chalatito's seen the style so many times. Like, Ma Ma Martinez has the punch. I don't know how it's gonna affect him between 112. Yeah. Now the way that he has 122, I don't know how that is gonna affect him because it's not it's a custom rubble. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, that probably one is gonna be maybe slow. Second one probably can affect him uh, his punch mm -hmm. because he's not accustomed to fighting that way. And the other one, you know, he can tell that probably he was uh, training with one. 15 or 118 people but uh, in a real fight we don't know you know when you have a, a man like Chocolatito that is very technique and, and at the end he's not looking for a for a punch for a knockout this is little by little you know he's trying to get your hurt you down. Exact, you down. onto you boom that's it yeah that's yeah. the that's the catch <laughs> Yeah, so let's see what's going on to, to tonight and we well for the best. Uh, yeah. yeah, final prediction. What, what's your final prediction? I think at six, unfortunately, Ray Martinez is gonna be knocked out because you know he was not responsible. You know, no, to, no. Uh, to my personal opinion. Later. Round, yeah, later. round nine. Uh, nine. I got round eight. Chalatito. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, Chalatito round nine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he, didn't, he didn't was to me very. It's good. Mm -hmm. But I know what's going on with this fight. He didn't yeah. was respond. He didn't responsible. He wasn't a professional. No. Yes, I mean, like I told you, Jesse Martinez. He prepared like a, almost one week, but he has the technique, something that Ray Martinez doesn't have. He's the type of guy like a. Like, they just go and charge and then. And yeah, and bye bye bye. He think that you're gonna resolve just punch him. No, yeah, man, yeah. you have different type of a boxer that probably you know can okay. put you in a difficult no position. matter how strong or how fast you are it's at the end it's a matter of a technique and strategy That's it's yeah. all up here yeah all so. mental boxing very mental mm -hmm. nice talking to you guys where and where you are you uh, brendan brendan uh -huh. from uh, miami. you have you have miami? your oh yeah miami we were, we're from texas are you from texas? Yeah. Houston, houston texas yeah okay okay yeah, yeah i like i like houston what is your website i mean uh, your it's YouTube? on youtube uh, true school sports uh, true school sports okay, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. very yeah. good yeah. Well, nice to you. You. absolutely nice meeting you yeah, thank you yeah. so, they have, so like a lot of people really excited about this fight you know you, 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 this is what boxing is all about guys like we talk about these fights we talk about like fights we think you want to see and, and all this nonsense but then, like, I really go to these fights, so I, I always have a good pulse of like what's going on at these fights. And um, I'll tell you, I, I know from experience because, like, when people say, "Oh, nobody cares about the smaller weight classes," I've gone to a lot of these fights, like for Chalatito, and I know what the atmospheres are like. I know what the fan bases are like. I know what it means to both uh, to, to the fan bases of, of, of fighters in the lower weight classes. And it's, it's very few things in boxing like a Chalatito uh, big fight. To be honest with you, especially when. Chalatito is fighting a big fight against a, uh, a top Mexican. So, um, yeah, man. How you doing? Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. 
you know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.